What time is it, y'all? It's movie review time. It's movie review time. It's movie review time. Where y'all at? Where y'all at? Peanut butter jelly. Peanut butter. Oh. Oh, it's over. <laughs> All right. Let's talk some movie reviews because today, today up on Netflix, I watched the new Ted Bundy movie. Now you saw me pause because let me look at what this movie name is. I can't, I, oh, y'all know how I mess up movies. Y'all know how I mess up movies and, and, and any names, people names, movie names. And this is a long one. This is a long one. Extremely wicked, shockingly evil and vile. All right. Maybe it wasn't so bad. <laughs> maybe it wasn't so bad, but I really didn't like it. Is that a shock? <laughs> I know some people on Twitter like, oh, I'm rushing. And I did too. I was like, I'm rushing home to go see a drop today on Netflix. When's it come out? Blah, 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 blah. Because, I mean, I've watched some Ted Bundy movies in my time. I watched the documentaries. I watched those Ted Bundy tapes up on Netflix. I even watched some old school Ted Bundy movies back in the day. So I know about Ted Bundy. And I was like, oh, this is going to be a good one with... Zac Efron playing Ted Bundy? Like, because uh, that's at least something good to look at. Y'all know that. Y'all know it's at least something good to look at. Watching Zac Efron's play some Ted Bundy. So I was going to be, I'm going to be like a little conflicted. I'm going to be a little conflicted because that's Zac Efron. But this is Ted Bundy who, like, serial killer. Terrible. You know, I don't want to like him. This is the problem I had with the movie. Let me tell you the problem I had. Just that same thing. And it wasn't even because Zac Efron was playing it. I think the whole plot. It started out when he met the, the girlfriend, his longtime girlfriend. Not the one he had a baby with. Oh, yeah. You know he had a baby up in jail. They had a baby mom and then had a little baby with her doing up in jail. They even showed that part in the movie. Which that wasn't that bad because then you see Zac Efron's booty. But... They start, the longtime girlfriend, the one that kind of turned them in, you know, uh, they started with them meeting. And you get a little nervous there because they meeting and she just going to be trusting. She has a kid, going to have him all up in the house, spend the night. She wakes up the next morning. She looks at the crib like the baby's gone. I was like, oh, Lord, I even know like the story, but it gets you like a little nervous. Like, oh, 10 Bundy got your baby. <laughs> Ted Bundy done got your baby but but that's the thing with this movie like okay she goes in there and he's like cooking breakfast for her oh here's breakfast and feeding the baby and cleaning the house and and then it goes like on to some other stuff like like he's bringing her gifts and doing all this stuff all right I can see like people might be like oh why look she was with Ted Bundy the serial killer but so it's kind of showing that side like okay she, he was like a normal person, fell in love, like, you know, with this and that. But even throughout the movie, then it goes like when he was arrested. Then it goes like when he's on trial. And remember, he escaped twice. Remember, he escaped jumping out the window and went in the woods for a few days. Then he escaped up in the roof and all that. Then it goes like to, um, then he escaped there and goes to like Florida. And, and they just like touch a little bit on like... The, the the vile, they touch, they're going to call this movie extremely wicked, shockingly evil, and vile. But they don't even show that part of them. I'm saying they, they make them like, they make them look like, I, I, I'm like, I can be friends with that Ted Bundy. Like, they, they ain't showing his, like, vile, extremely wicked. They ain't shocking me with, not, what are you shocking me with? The, the... I was mad about, I'm like, nothing. And y'all know I don't like scary stuff, but I'm just saying, if I'm going to watch some Ted Bundy stuff, I want to hear, like, I want to get into it. Not the, not his normal side, not the side like he charms the people. I guess that's what they were trying to go for. Oh, this is the side where he charmed the people. I don't want to see that. I don't want to be watching up on Netflix, sitting there watching and thinking, oh, he's not so bad. I could be his friend. No! That's not what I want going on in my head. Then most of the movies, so they like touched on that. And then like you, you start, you feel bad for him at some of the parts. 
Like there was this one part when he was, was he in the, no, he done, this is when he escaped the first time. Then they brought him back into jail. And then, because when he, before he escaped, like that girl, his longtime girlfriend stopped kind of talking to him and stopped communicating and, and he was getting all sad. So he done escaped the first time and she was all nervous, like, just going to come here or what? And he went up in the woods or wherever he goes in the mountains and, and uh, they caught him and brought him back to jail. So then they showed this scene where he's up in the, back in the jail after they caught him the first time he, he escaped there. And, and the girlfriend came to visit him. And he gives her like a present and she opens it and blah, blah, blah. And, and that's when she kind of tells him, she's like, not look, I'm, it's over pretty much. It's pretty much. She tells him it's over. We ain't going to talk no more. Like you want trial for this? What do you think I'm going to do this? And, and then she's already kind of like leaning little hands, like question, like, you know, you done, like, how can you say you're in it? Like, because he keeps pleading and say, oh, I'm in it. It's like, how are you going to keep saying this? Like, no, like, uh, it's over. And then she gives him this picture that the little girl drew. And he, like, starts break down crying. Like, he's tears. And, and you kind of, that's why I said, and I kind of was like, oh, Ted. Oh, like, you felt a little sorry for him. And I even said out loud, I was like, well, if you done, didn't do, do all that killings, Maybe you could have had a good life, Ted, not being up in jail and losing your girlfriend. But then I was like, what am I saying? This is a serial killer done killed all these women, and I'm over here feeling sorry for them. I, I didn't like this movie. I mean, that's good acting, right? I mean, I can't say Zef, uh, Zephron. I said Zephron. <laughs> Zach Efron is, like, bad in it. No, he was good. He was good acting. He looked good in it. I just didn't like the the way they portrayed him. I'm gonna portray him like this nice guy that just oh the, some stuff he did bad and this is what happens. Then he's gonna then the second half of the movie is basically the trial, and they had that um the Big Bang Theory guy. What's his name? You know who I'm talking about the Big Bang Theory guy. He was like the lawyer. Oh, what's his name? I can't remember his name, but you, you know him. The weird one, the, the quirky one, the one just kind of, I can't think of his name. So he was in it. And then they had um, John Malko Malkovich. He was like the judge, like he did good. So they had that whole trial, which was like, oh, you know, like, and you, see, you even like feel like the judge, like he's like talking to him like, oh, well, this is what you did. Ted Bundy, life in jail. There you go. Your decisions. You killed women. Like, I'm like, this is not, this could not, I mean, I, I can't say I was up in the courtroom at that time. I wasn't. But this is, this can't be the way it, it went down. Like, everything was la, la, like la-di-da. No. Then they show when he's like paying off the guards and, and the one girl that he like had the baby having sex with up in there. Like, but I'm just saying. And I, so then all this and then the last thing going on the death row, like it ended with him getting death row, right? Or like he, he got sentenced to death, but then like, what was it? it? Took 10 years, I think, to actually like do it or something like that. And then it ended, he got, he was killed, but. Then at the end, they're going to be like, give a little thing. Oh, this is that. And this is that. And here's the list of the women he confessed to murdering. Because he finally confessed to like 30 murders. And then they're going to put the women's name up there. And have like a little moment of silence. And I was like, now you want to do that? Like this whole movie, you're going to portray him like not so bad of a guy. I mean, circumstances, serial killer, blah, 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 blah. But now you want to have a moment of silence for the, the women that he murdered? I didn't like it. I didn't like it one bit. I mean, I like I like looking at Zac, Zac Efron. It wasn't like a terribly boring movie. It didn't bore me. I, I mean, I was interested. Just knowing the Ted Bundy story, I didn't like it. So I give it my rating. Three out of five. Extremely wicked, shockingly... Oh, wait, no. Yeah. Extremely wicked, shockingly evil and vile. Three out of five because you're tricking me with your title. The movie wasn't a, even didn't sh really show his wickedness. I wasn't shocked. Uh, it didn't even show how evil it was. He was, and there wasn't like the vile. You tricked me. 
You tricked me with your title. All right, y'all. Till next time, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe. Give me some comments and I'll see y'all. Bye.